all right what's up guys today we're gonna do a mid to high fade bald fade and a little bit of texture on top so we're gonna take it down with the trimmers these are the babulous rose gold FX trimmers and I'm gonna use the trimmer upside down just to take that bulk off nice and quick usually helps it shave down a little faster when I use the trimmers upside down like that just one swipe it's usually gone and we're gonna use the Andy's foil shaver and we're gonna take it up about an inch away from the original zero line and you're gonna want to flick a little bit with the foil shaver and a lot of the movements once I get closer to the top most of the movements are downwards not upwards that way you don't make more lines because if you do make a hard line with this it's pretty hard to get it out especially if you make it a little too high so you can see a lot of those movements are downwards downstrokes not upwards You want to keep fading that out. You can see he has a little bit of a bump right there. So it creates a bit of a shadow if you don't blend that out properly. And then we're just going to hit it with the Andy Slimline Pro. I'm going to hit it with the blade upwards, backwards. When I use uh, the trimmers backwards like this, it actually gets a little closer than when you're using it upright. So this is just going to get any of the any dark lines or any heaviness out from when I use the foil shaver. And then we're going to go in with the wall magic clips, cordless magic clips. And we're using an open blade, open lever. And I recently bought a ceramic moving blade for the magic clip and it works pretty well I like it I don't know if the quality is completely there I just bought one on Amazon but I think I'm not sure if there's much of a difference between the ones on Amazon and the ones that individual sellers offer so we're gonna use a zero after the 0.5 the open lever we're gonna go in with the zero and we're gonna knock out that first line and then we're gonna open it up just about a quarter and blend a little bit more out just above the section we just did and then another quarter and that'll take up most of the all the lines but there are still little areas where we got to go in so I'm gonna close it Almost closed all the way, but not quite. We're just going to get underneath. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. You can see when I drop a video. And right here, we're going to go with the one guard. Open all the way. And go up another inch. About another inch. Just below the Pareto Ridge. Right about where it meets up with the top. And you don't want to go higher than this because then you're just going to ruin the shape of his head. We're going to close it halfway. And we're blending downwards on this section. And then we're going to close it all the way. And just hit the bottom area. You don't want to go too high with that. And then I opened it up just a little bit, just to get in some of those darker spots that I might have missed. If you see a dark spot that's higher up in the fade, you want to open your guard more. If it's more uh, lower to the fade, then you want to close your guard a little more. So I'm going to use my z half guard, my zero guard, and open all the way. And we're just going to knock out that last little section on the bottom. Above the half guard, 
or above the lever open and below what we did with the one with the one guard so you see I close it halfway and each time I close it I'm staying lower than the guard that I used before and you can see the guards closed all the way I just opened it a little more That's just playing around with the lever, seeing what works. Once you get a little more experienced with barbering, you just kind of know what areas you're going to be able to hit with what guard. And I opened it up a little bit more, staying right at the parietal ridge. I'm not going above it. Clipper over comb here, a little bit of freehand too. I'm just cutting anything that grows over the perimeter. I'm making everything square with the shape of its head. Any little dark areas that I couldn't get with the guards, I'm gonna get with the, my clipper over comb. And then I'll use a little bit of shear over comb as well. On the other side I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here and I'll let you guys enjoy this So here we're going to do a little bit of shear over comb and right here I'm just going to go in with my shear and get a little bit of a dark spot that's a little higher up. I like using that technique for little dark spots. Now we're going to go in line them up and use the Andy Slimline Pro to line them up. And you want to try and let the trimmer do all the work. Don't press too hard when you're doing these lineups. And I'm just touching up the bottom of the fade too. You can see the nice fluid movements I'm using. That came out sharp. That's got no enhancements on it either. That's all just his hair. Now we're going to do the top. We're going to cut just a little bit off, mainly giving them a lot of texture, taking off about a quarter inch. And I always finish my, finish my whole front section first. The whole top area of the head. And then I move on to the middle there. You can see how I rest my shear on my middle finger. That way I don't, I always stay in the same spot. Can't really cut yourself like that as long as you keep it at the same angle. This is going to give him a lot, it's going to thin out his hair, it's going to give him a lot more movement, 
we're gonna do some slide cutting here you can see the slide cutting I called it the little bit of a texturizing technique and here I'm just using a little shear over comb just to hit any any light spots or any dark spots sorry that I might see and this just a lot gives me a lot more control and that fade came out sharp you guys that's the final look I hope you like it you can see it came out crispy nice blend subscribe to my channel like my channel and comment you guys I'll see you next week for another video.